Rocky Miles. Today we're going to do a painting tutorial on Jeff Yeager's new release, Alter Ego. A beautiful kit depicting Michael Keaton as Batman. So we're going to talk a little bit about what I did today to bring this beautiful kit to life. Are you ready? Let's go. I started base coating the figure, the complete kit in automotive gray primer. And once I had that done and let it dry, you need to let that dry a little bit so it gets a nice bite. I then base coated the face with Garage US Garage Kit Flesh. I just gave it a nice even coat over the uh, primer and start building up my flesh tones. I was going to do several layers of flesh tones on this one and I really like the end result. So after I did that I came in and hit the cheeks, the chin, top of the nose and the forehead with Garage US Bright Flesh. That gives it like a pinkish tone like you would see in natural faces on uh, humans where you have the different shades of red on your face uh, mixed in with your flesh. So that's what I was going for at this point. So once I uh, finished with that, I came in with some Garage US Pale Flesh to add some highlights uh, to the flesh tones and also building up those flesh tones. You just want to hit that sporadically over on the uh, cheekbone areas, you know, not overwhelming the work that you've already done and just kind of spread that out a little bit and it's just building up for me more realistic skin tones. So once I was done with that I brought out my Reaper Tan Shadow to kind of quiet everything down and blend in the flesh tones and just kind of mix that down a little bit with some water and kind of held the airbrush back and just kind of sprayed around and kind of spun the figure a little bit on the uh, turntable and just kind of quieted everything down. So when I had finished at that point, I said, you know, I better kind of check out the flesh tones and see how they're working with the hair. So I came in and I painted the hair and the eyebrows with Delta Cream Coat Black. That way it's a good uh, point to really check your flesh tones, how they're looking. You're, you're be amazed at what happens when you put in some uh, hair and uh, see how everything is coming together, if you will. So once I was happy with that, I came in with some Garage US Trans Mars Red and I hit the cheeks, top of the nose, forehead and below the eye area just to kind of introduce some more tones to the flesh if you will. And I liked what I had going there. So what I decided to do at uh, that point is I came in with some Reaper Tan Skin and Trans Mars Red to further build up the skin tones. You know again just coming in with that tan skin kind of bringing in a different layer to the flesh tones and then bringing in that trans mars red just to add some uh red highlights to the skin again as you would see in cheeks etc and everything was uh, coming together so then i came in i decided to punch up the eye area and lips with the transparent mars red and just kind of give it a more like a distress look under his uh, eyes you know, uh, to give it that intense look of Batman. And then I, uh, after that, I uh, decided to quiet it all down. So I pulled out some of the uh, Reaper Trans, I'm sorry, the Reaper Tan Shadow, and just kind of mixed it down a little bit, sprayed it over, and also started punctuating the uh, folds in the skin a little bit to give it a natural progression. So when I was done with that, I just uh, used a tan skin, tan shadow to start tying it all together. And then, you know, just it's that process going back and forth with those colors until I was getting the different layers of skin tone, you know, coming back in with the Trans Mars Red and just kind of mixing it all up, just trying to get a nice blend of skin tones. So once that was done, I decided to paint in the uh, top of the cowl to see again how everything was blending together and how that face was standing up against the black. So I decided that, boom, that's what I liked. So then what I did is I came in and I painted in the rest of the suit and painted in the bat insignia that you see on his chest. 
I used uh, Coward's uh, yellow on the outside, inside of the insignia. And of course, Body Bag Black was used around the ring around the bat symbol, and then of course for the bat itself. And so once I had all that together, it was really giving me a direction of where this was going. So at that point, I decided to come back in with some of that Garage US Bright Flesh and simply just started punctioning certain areas on the face uh, just to add that different um, texture, if you will. Now for his eye areas, I simply came in with my uh, Freak Flex Bleach Bone Tan and I just painted that in, came in with Body Bag Black, drew in my pupil, decided on a blue blue look for the eyes so I came in with some Freak Flex Affixia Blue and simply painted that in while leaving a hint of the black line for the eye and then it was simply just coming in with some Body Bag Black and putting in the pupils. And of course on the bottom of the eye itself I came in with some Pink Eyed Burgundy and I simply drew a line along the bottom of the eyelid just to give some realism to the eye itself. So once I had that done, I decided to uh, finish up the uh, suit and mask. So I came in and highlighted the suit and the mask with Freak Flex Dead Guys Gray and just kind of blended that in, came back in with some body baked black just so I could kind of bring in some deep shadows and miss the highlights of the uh, Dead Guys Gray. And believe it or not, Batman was done. So I decided now, obviously, I moved on to the base and the Batcave walls. I base coated everything with Freak Flex Gray Parlor Gray. And once I had a nice coat of that over the black, I started uh, simply shading in areas of it with uh, Freak Flex Body Baked Black and just uh, punctuating some uh, shadows. And there's a lot of detail that Jeff has uh, sculpted into the Batcave on the back. Then it was simply time to start building up the cave walls using Freak Flex Dead Guys Gray, Body Baked Black, and of course I tied in everything with the Garage US Trance Burnt Sienna. And again, that's a process. You go back and forth until you get uh, what you're uh, trying to achieve there, building up your shadows, bringing in your highlights. Again, it's a process. Next uh, thing I did was to quiet everything down with some transparent black. And again, that process of going back and forth, back and forth until you get exactly what you're needing. And of course, after that was done, the base was done. And everything looked uh, just like I had planned. You know, for his glove, everything just tied together. So that's a little bit of what I did to bring this beautiful piece, Alter Ego, sculpted by none other than Jeff Yeager sculpted by, or I'm sorry, casted by Gilman Productions by Paul Gill. So the castings you get will be top notch and the fun will begin. If you're like me in 1989 when this film came out, it impacted me greatly. And it was just something to escape into, see Michael Keaton bring the Cape Crusader to life with a dark edge to it, of course, from Tim Burton. I even picked up a uh, Blu-ray of this and rewatched it on 4K and it was just awesome. They've released all those Batmans on 4K now. Batman Forever, all of those series. Do yourself a favor and revisit them. Batman Returns, they, some good films and uh, dark in some areas. So that's our edition today of Talking Models. As I guided you through a painting tutorial that I did to bring the alter ego to life. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so. There's a little subscribe button and you hit it and you're in the family. Boom. And you'll get updates and notifications on new videos and you can help me spread the word for this channel. I'm still trying to get to 300. So if you haven't subscribed, help me get there. I'd greatly appreciate it. So thanks again for stopping in and as always, may the Lord bless your day.